I got some stuff done on the CNC machine today, but I decided to shut it off for the rest of the day and finally get started on this F-250. It's just gonna be some power wire and maybe some amp placement right now. We'll see what we can do in like a half a day, but uh, it feels real good, man. We gotta get this thing started. I really need to get this thing going. Still got the B2 audio amp on the test bench from the last video I made. She's gonna be in there real soon. And of course, I ordered me up some Sky High wire, just arrived. We got some black, we got some blue, OFC of course. Some four gauge, some zero gauge, we're good to go. All right, this thing comes stock with two batteries. One right there, and one right there. This one's already got some corrosion on it. This truck is only two years old. But it's okay, we'll clean that up. Then this side's got some corrosion too. On the bracket? Not really any on the terminals, it's just on the bracket. It's kinda wild. Yeah, the terminals are still pretty clean. Huh, all right. Now normally the first thing I do is I'll run out and give me some excess power batteries and replace the stock ones right away. But excess power is out of the right batteries that I need for this truck until like summertime. So we're just going to leave the stock ones in for now and once the system's all in and working, we'll swap them out later. It's not even really that important to be honest, the system's not going to be very big. But just out of the principalities of the situation, that's why we'll normally do it. Now it's time for me to dig in here and see what I got to work with. I don't, really, I don't even really know what I got going on in here. I probably popped this in twice since I've owned it. So it looks like this is the battery I'm going to be tapping into. I was going to tap into that one because there's a choice little spot underneath the bottom to bring the cable up through. But there's really no place to mount the fuse holder over in that area. So we'll go over here. I got a nice little spot underneath this floorboard over here. Just as well. Be good to go. Clean out some of that corrosion. Of course, here's the fuse holder we're gonna use. We're gonna use a double ANL fuse holder. We really only need one right now for this entire system, but I always think ahead in case we wanna run something else later, I wanna be able to have that ready to go. So we'll use one fuse and one cable now, and then we got room for expandability later. Of course, this is a mirrored trim piece for this. So as soon as I peel the plastic off, that thing's gonna look like chrome, brand new. I don't want to peel the plastic off until I'm done hooking this thing up. This engine compartment is just full of stuff. There's really not any place to put anything, but right here on top of this fuse box, it's a nice little platform. We'll just put another fuse on top of the fuses, something like that. Pop the lid off and we'll secure it really nice to that spot so it's not causing a problem. And we'll be good to go. All right, so obviously I don't want to do anything that's going to affect those fuses at all. So we'll put that there. We'll pre-drill some holes. We'll mount it to there, it's super secure. Then we'll pop it back on, it'll be a done deal. Let's bring it over. This looks like kind of a good spot. Sure it's straight. Perfect. All right, got some really nice Torx screws here, some 5 8 and uh, what do we got here? Some 3 quarters. I think 5 8 is going to do it though. So we'll just grab some of these. Got some of these nylon lock nuts that I'm going to use because it's, I don't want these things to slip off and fall into the fuse box. They shouldn't move once they're on there. You just slip those over the top. All 
right. We're just poking past the nylon part. So that shouldn't be intrusive onto the stock fuses at all. It's underneath this little ridge right here and they're not sticking down very much. So now I can kind of touch it if I want to, I think. Let's see how this thing looks. Although I shouldn't pull this off till later. I just can't stand it no more. thing in there. There it is. Cool, we got a nice little solid spot to put the fuse on now. Good to go. Put this thing probably Right here, I'm not sure exactly which direction I want to take that. Maybe this way, and bring it around. Either way, that's a nice little solid spot. These here. Hey, Anthony, want to do Dad a favor? Can you whip me up some Ford heat drink? Some black and some red. <clears throat> if you don't mind, please. Couple of these should do good. My favorites. Shit's so soft like butter. never going anywhere ever love that crimper now while I wait for Anthony to whip me up some forward heat shrink for this thing I guess I might as well pop the seats up put the box in in its spot where it's gonna stay now that it's all wired up figure out how I'm gonna bolt it down and then I can go from there I can figure out exactly where I want to put the amps and hopefully get this thing playing real soon but Right now, without the box in, I don't even know what my options are. So, let's lift the seat up, walk over there and grab the box and put it in here. Go ahead, if you can get yours. It's not gonna be that heavy, it's gonna, it's just a long daddy, that's what So whip me up like, might as well just do like 10 of each, that way if we need them later we can have them ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. You got some red, right? Somewhere in here? It's not super 
super sharp. All right, this looks good. Let's bring it out there. I'm gonna hook the fuse block up first so this thing isn't energized. Perfect. I'm not sure exactly how much I need. I don't want to overcut it, so we'll just run it through the floor right now. Right here. Here's the spot right here. Just like that, straight out into nothing, out of the open. So we'll cut a hole in this thing and run it right through, be good to go. So a quick little X in the middle. X marks the spot type of thing. And look at that. So that'll be something like this here. I'll bring it around. Tuck it up in there, be good to go. Let's see how much we actually need though to get up in there. Got it? Go grab a lid for this thing. That's it for right now. All right, that's a done deal. We just gotta run the wire the rest of the way into the cabin where we want it to go. This thing will be done. I'm gonna have to attach a ground to the frame, which is pretty easy because I found a bolt down there too. There's lots of bolts back there in the back by the seats, but I prefer a frame ground because while well, the body's sitting on rubber mounts and everything else, the frame ground is always the best ground in the entire car, right next to the actual alternator bracket itself. But uh, I found a really super nice bolt right there on the frame underneath the bottom. I'm going to tap right into that thing, call it done. Going to need me a little ring terminal first, of course. Look at that. I like that a lot. Hopefully that's the right size socket. I just guessed it.
probably a little too much, but it's okay. Sky high for the win. That'll work right there like that. Right in through the gas, right in through the grommet. Got them both to fit in the grommet. Nothing's touching the middle. And then we'll just kind of turn the corner like this. We'll zip tie it all, of course, but we'll turn it, we'll st stuff it in here. Put the carpet back over it. Hopefully you won't be able to feel it. You can't really tell it's there at all. Of course, I still got to run the remote later when I tap into the deck, but So I'm not exactly sure where the amp rack is gonna end up, but I got plenty of zero gauge right here. It's not energized at all, so I don't have to tape it off. There's no fuse in the fuse holder, so we'll just tuck it right there for right now. Just need to build the amp rack, run some RCAs, and this thing will be ready to play already. All right, so it's pretty much the next day. I thought I was done running the wiring, and I was getting ready to make a video to show you guys what I did, but I'm like, oh damn. Once again, I forgot about the big three. I gotta run a couple extra grounds. I gotta run a power wire from the alternator bolt, the positive bolt on the alternator, over to the main battery, and a little frame ground. I should be good to go, but I just can't leave those out. Even on a smaller system, I really don't wanna leave those out. I don't wanna run zero gauge to the back of the car and then have the entire system running off the alternator, which probably has an eight gauge wire at best on a good day on that post. So let's go ahead and upgrade those get some heat shrink on them, and then we'll call this little phase of the project done and move on to the amp rack. So yesterday I realized there's a lot more quiet in here than today's video. That's because I ran the machines about a half a day and then I started working on this the other half of the day. Well, now that it's the next morning, I, I can't like not have my machines going, so I apologize in advance for all the sound in the background. CNC machine turning and uh, well, worse than anything else, I got the dust collector sitting right over here at the end of this truck, so. Sorry about that, but let's jump in on this right here. Looks like my alternator is right here at the very top. I'm gonna have to move some stuff out of the way to get to that top post, but it shouldn't be too bad. impossible for me to show you this because it's kind of deep in here but right there so in order for me to get a zero gauge ring terminal on there I'm gonna probably have to break that little protector off the sides a little plastic piece but that's okay we don't need that no more the positive post for this alternator is right here on the very top which is nice I just had to move this pipe out of the way super hot but I don't want it to get super crusty by being near things that are like pretty hot most of the time especially with the summertime coming so we'll put a little bit of heat shield on this Standard metal. 
metal tape on the wire in the areas that are gonna get a little bit warm. But I got some 2,000 degree heat shield for the areas that I'm most concerned about. And even those areas aren't gonna be too bad. It's just kind of going over an area that gets a little warm. But for that, I'll use this. Do it, let's put it in. going to the battery, one eye cable going to the alternator, both on a bus bar. That's another reason I like using the double fuse holders for this. I'm just gonna jump underneath the truck. I found a spot right on the transmission that has a nice little hole in it. I can run a bolt right from that, right over to the frame, and then the frame grounds will be done. And I think this thing's gonna be all wired up, except for the RCAs, of course, but that's gonna come soon. Time to crawl underneath this thing and pick up the last wire. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta make it first. So you saw yesterday I used a nice little frame ground for the amps, but we need to get something from the engine to that frame ground. Got this all upside down, I'm getting vertigo. There's a nice little hole right there and right there. And I'm feeling like I can attach a zero gauge to that and then right over to the frame and then I got a proper frame ground. Now the stock frame ground is proper, of course, because it's just stock. But if you're upgrading your sound system, you're gonna wanna upgrade those wires too. So they're not stressed out trying to deliver the power. But I got this exhaust pipe right in my way too, so I'm probably going to choose the one up high and then run it back behind some stuff and then over to the frame. So this is really uncomfortable to film like this. That's my plan so far. Not sure which one's going to be the right length. I'll just grab a couple of them.
think something like that's going to be perfect. She's all set, ready to build the amp rack, ready to power up. All right, one last look at this thing before I shut the camera off so you can see it in the daylight. Show you what I did. Tapped in right here. Nice little spot. Cut the boot, that way it fits. I re the wire around this side because I didn't like the way I had it the first time. We got the SMD fuse holder. We got the bus bar connected to the battery and to the alternator. And all the frame grounds, which I'm not gonna climb underneath the truck and show you. But we're good to go. Yeah, I know it's not that crazy exciting of a video, but it's all work and it all has to get done. And I really can't do anything else until I build the amp rack, figure out where it's gonna go. So for right now, the zero gauge is ran, the fuse holder's ran, the grounds are ran, and um, just gotta make it happen one day at a time. Catch you on the next one.